Greetings <laughs> all, I am Tim Carey and I am your Taskmaster this evening. Welcome to Taskmaster 2022, a barely original series pitting five competitors against each other in a series of trying tasks. In doing so, they will grow not just as people, but as friends. As the Taskmaster, I allocate points based on my earnest impressions of each competitor's performance, ingenuity, and heart, but my efforts pale in comparison to those of our steadfast contestants. Who will be the Taskmaster 22 champion? Will it be the man whose hair is as wild as his personality? Amon Afsa! Yeah. Could it be the analytical orange aficionado, Ben Raymond? The steadfast and enthusiastic, Carrie Farrell. I've been told she's the strategic genius, Lee Callahan. And finally, the dapper dreamer, Toby Hall. And next to me is my tireless, endearing assistant, Eric Fisher. Hello, Tim. Hello, Eric. Now, to start us off, each of our guests has brought in a series of items. What is the prize task, Eric? Well, Tim, they've had a finite time to find the finest items that rhyme. You've implored for two items or more to be scored with the finest choice of rhyming prizes scoring the five points. Good job. Good job, bud. Okay, Amon, what items have you brought in for us today? Well, I have brought up to Scrape Goose, Stuff Goose, Squawker Juice, Red Caboose, Old Shoes, Combat Boots, and Two Two. Da da da! Can we so legally show that, Tim? I. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it. It rhymed. It had a theme. It had some spirit behind it. I think it's a good start. Carrie, what have you brought in for us today that rhymes? Uh, so I started with the song of our generation, Fergalicious, and then Amazon accidentally sent me two Fergie albums, so you have something fortuitous. Then I also have Litmus, Citrus, Medicine for Motion Sickness, Guinness, and Emeralds. It rhymes. She also admitted that it rhymed by mistake. <laughs> Lee, looks like you're next. So, there once was a girl named Lee who swept a small bit of tree. As the munchies kicked in, she raided her kitchen, piling her arms with sliced brie. But the brie did not last long, and her hunger was still strong, so she grabbed her ID and ran out with Lee to shop the whole day long. She bought mint tea, something Nestle, poopery, chicken of the sea, <laughs> wasabi, teriyaki, sticks of honey, bit of honey, bar of Hershey, and pepperoni. And that was the end of her shopping spree. <laughs> There's a lot to digest here, literally and figuratively. Glad she's supporting her local CVS. <laughs> Clearly. I do have to ask from the outset though, Lee, did my assistant tell you that you could potentially lose the items you put up for yes. the prize test today? And that it seems that you've put your your ID. <laughs> uh, I am very you, committed to this. Did you drive here? <laughs> While we still simmer in that, uh, Ben, show us what rhymes. All right, gather on and listen to what I bring. First of which is a merry song hop and sing. Next, the span of Middle Earth's eagle's wings. That Bilbo rode upon after swinging his sword sting at Gollum, who cheated, guessing nothing was string. But the treasure's fate was tied to the crown of the king. That might be attained by a ranger with some Arnorian bling. The trinket is tricksy, so it was chained to this thing until they could destroy Eagle Sauron's one ring. So the hobbits can go back to preparing food on a board for coming. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, that 
You didn't have a lot of friends back in high school, did you? <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> Too many internet friends. <laughs> Certainly a fellowship, at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I guess my question is, what local CVS do you go to? You gotta get direct from the source, from mm -hmm. Europe, London. It's the only way. High quality. Was items. your poopery from London? <laughs> <laughs> No, it was from France. Was he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's gonna honestly be hard to top that, but if anyone could do it, I imagine it would be our friend Toby Hall. I'm actually a little confused. Toby did send us a written submission of, <laughs> uh, of his task, but it doesn't really make sense to me. Well, it, 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 I, luckily, luckily, I, I'm here to demonstrate. There's actually a little bit of presentation. Lee, could you actually help me? Uh, I just need you to pull this trash bag over. Kind of uh, like a late minute kind oh, of guy. Wait. Huh. So, the first thing I have is a, is a, a sticky dicky clock. Oh, uh, oh my. That's, that's actually that's exactly oh. what that is. Um, the, ne the next thing I have is a... Oh, this is oh, kind of gross now. And dicky ticky cock. Oh, <laughs> no. And finally, actually, Eric, can I get your help with this one? Uh, I'm a little nervous to say yes, but... Um, so, can you come over here? This is, this is my licky uh, pricky schlock. Uh, and, uh, what's licky about it? Well, actually, that's what I need you to come over here. Come on, get down some of the sticky, uh, oh, uh, uh, ticky dicky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. Oh, oh. Yeah, so uh, I might need to get a mop. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Sticky dicky clock, icky ticky cock, and licky pricky. <laughs> uh. I have to hand it to you, Toby. When I saw the rhyme, it was the shortest of the bunch. But I was like, could it perform? <laughs> uh, and really, it turns out execution is what matters. So, uh, what's okay. your verdict? <sighs> Harry, I'm gonna have to give you one point. For two points. Amon, I love the throwback. You were borrowing someone else's rhymes. Uh, for three points, I mean, I guess I don't have to go grocery shopping today. So Lee Callahan, I'll give you three points. The execution really pushed me over the limit. And that point, I'll have to give all of those ruined clocks uh, four points. And for five points, I have to give it to the Lord of the Ring himself, Ben Raymond. Yes, thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. It's will, made of metal. I'll crown myself. It is made of metal. So basically what we learned here is Ben got his stuff from London, Lee got hers from France, and no one is getting in Ben Raymond's pants. Oh, Nice. Got me. <laughs> Where was the rhyming earlier? <laughs> so there we have it, folks. Now, sadly, we only have a limited time to get to know these lovely competitors. So, Eric, what do you have to address this? You know, Tim, I just might have a task that will have our massive at-home audience swiping right on all five of our competitors. Awful. <laughs>
I'm decidedly not gonna look up pickup lines because that is a terrible industry and I don't stand for it. It doesn't have to be a successful date. I can just neg you the entire time. Uh, have the most successful date. Shut up! I don't have a strategy. Uh, okay. Instead, I stand for rap songs about big butts. Understandable. Mussolini had a catchphrase. Well, just when you think love, I think fascism. <laughs> We're gonna come back to this. <laughs> hey, I took some notes uh, based on what I was watching. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not good. I'm not coming up with any strategy. Yep. Shut up. <laughs> I don't have a strategy. <laughs> Lee, yeah. to that point, what was your strategy? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's candidly relatable for our audience. Should we start off with my date with Ben? Oh, no. Hello? Hey, Hello ben. ben. Are you uh, prepared to start? Yes. Well, then let's get to it. What are your uh, feelings on wine, by the way? All I need is a bottle of wine. My partner crying to have a good time. Any pets? Camera dog first? I am south of a few cats that live in my house. I don't know if it counts as mine. <laughs> I know, right? You a uh, animal person? Dog. Did you say that dogs are your spirit animal? Yes. <laughs> Let's get serious for a second here. Look, I think we're all thinking the same exact thing. We won't say it. How many toddlers do you think you need to fight? <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, count that in your ability, so I can be that one. Where were you born? Sunshine's bright, we all get to be wrong. What's your philosophy on love? Mm. Up to the table. Marriage is an illusion. Why yes. do people care about each other? It doesn't need to be formalized in a court of law or Yes. What would we do together if we were alone? I don't know. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that seemed sensual, very thought out, thorough, respectful. <laughs> Be interested to see where the rest of the dates go from here. Shall we see um, my favorite competitor? Everyone else? <laughs> That's what take. Hello, Mayo. Hey, baby. <laughs> Are you prepared to start? You had me at hello. Hello? Hello? hello. Uh, are you ready to start, Toby? Call me Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Ishmael? What are your feelings on wine, Ishmael? <laughs> what are your feelings on wine? Add to fucking Louie. What are your feelings on wine? I like. What are your feelings on wine? I don't know what I did to you, but I'll take a pink Regio. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, for me! Well, thank you very much. Is there any topic you think we should avoid? Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. I feel like too many people talk about themselves on dates. It's so self-aggrandizing. Okay. And I'm really late. I like, I like to eat ice cream, cream and, and I really, really enjoy a nice pair of slacks. Of slacks. Years later, my doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48, and unless some people call self-aggrandizing, are there topics that you feel we should avoid? Absolutely not. Toby, call me. Ishmael, I'm so sorry. Ishmael, what do you consider a red flag in a relationship? I don't want no scrubs. Oh, yeah. I totally agree. Do you have things you consider red flags in relationships? Yes, fucking Have you ever really loved a woman? <laughs> Do you consider a red flag in a relationship? I hate it when you lie. Toby. Oh, sorry, Ishmael. Ishmael. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ishmael. Um, I think it's going to get serious in this conversation. 
How many toddlers do you think you could beat in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding somewhere. Ooh, one, huh? <laughs> well, toddlers can be very ferocious, so I don't hold that against you in the slightest. Who is your spirit animal, Mel? If I'm a bird, you're a bird. Do you consider something to be your spirit animal? Yeah. Yeah, I often feel the same way. Ishmael, I think I know from your name, but what is your spirit animal? Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Anuses in general are your spirit animal. What is your philosophy on love? Changes in what's excitement. Wait, I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. Does somebody, Does somebody need a hug? Always. So what is your philosophy on love? Push it. <laughs> what is your philosophy? The truth is that men are tired of liberty. War is command, but maternity is to women. I think you both know that. Well, I'm kind of it's a little awkward, but I can't wait to see the cameraman over here. Hey, baby. Hey, you want, you can bring your roommate. I don't know if Steven's keen to, but if you want to double team you. I would like to extend to you. An invitation to the pants party. Let's get it on. What would you do if we were alone? Anyone can speak troll, said Fred dismissively. All, All you have to do is point and grunt. <laughs> is that what you would do if we were alone? <laughs> yeah, what would you do if we were alone right now? Maybe just say yes. Choose me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I promise. Oh. I'll never let you go. Kiss me. Oh, 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 no, 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 just throw that. Drop that zero. Drop that zero and get with the heat. Get with the zero. Oh, stop it! I was not strategic in any of my quotes. I should have just, oh my god. Questions and I weren't, wasn't prepared. <laughs> well, there was really no way to know what questions I was going to ask. <laughs> Should have had numbers. Oh. Yeah, if I had questions, I would have numbered them. Probably one, two, three, four. <laughs> yes or no would have been a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'd be referencing, though. Who knows? I yes. guess maybe say yes to the dress could have been my affirmative. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. I, I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> Initial reflections. I'm not entirely sure that any of you know what a spirit animal is. Alcohol is a spirit. Oh, speaking to that point, Lee, uh, could you remind me of the exact nature of your strategy? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> well, I do regret to say, Amon, I don't know if we could air any of that. <laughs> Toby, Ishmael. Do you regret not having yes or no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the actual points portion. So, I'm going to start from the bottom, work it up to the top. For one point, I'm going to have to give it to Lee for not having a strategy, <laughs> uh, for calling herself wine, and uh, for promoting infidelity. <laughs> Two points, I'm going to give them to Carrie for 
oversharing, <laughs> for reinforcing problematic gender roles, as well as philosophies on governance. <laughs> I think I can speak safely for everyone here that no one on the Taskmaster set is tired of liberty carrying. <laughs> for the three points, I will have to give that to Amon for, well, he was dating for marriage. So, uh, four points, I'm about to give him to Ishmael for <laughs> filling out that suit, his versatile use of O, and uh, for not wasting his time on scrubs. Five points, Ben, for actually holding a conversation, <laughs> asking questions, and uh, for saying yes or no. <laughs> so, and now. A brief message from our sponsors. And we're back! <laughs> so, Eric, uh, looks like Ben is taking the lead for now. Would you mind running us through the rest of the scores? Uh, yeah, Ben has a commanding perfect 10. Following closely behind is Toby. Pretty impressive graphics, too, if I don't mind saying so myself. <laughs> and yet you do. <laughs> but looks like we're pretty early in. There's already some spread among the scores. Do you think you have anything that could help even the odds? Even the odds, huh? You know, Tim, I have just the task. Hiya. Hello, Lee. How's it going? Pretty good. Hello, Eric. Hello, Mel. <laughs> I'm very afraid that I will have to run. I don't know what will give you that impression. <laughs> you will be running a timed lap around this track with unconventional scoring. Your times will be compared to your fellow contestants. The second fastest time will score five points. The fourth fastest time will score four points. The first, third, and fifth Fastest times will score three, two, and oh my god, three, two, and one points respectively. You have ten minutes to plan your strategy. Your time starts at the end of the ten minutes, or when you cross the starting line. All right, ten minutes. Weird points. So I want to be second fastest, ideally. You're just trying to make me run for your enjoyment, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so second is first, first is third, third is fourth, fourth is second, and last is last. Seems simple enough. Simple enough for geniuses like us, Tim. But let's see if it was so clear cut for our competitors. How big's this track? Does it go all the way around? Can I borrow that clock and go check it out? I'll be back. Okay, okay. It's not as long as I thought. I really thought it was going all the way around. All right. I can chill for now. <laughs> I don't know any of these contestants well enough to know if they're fast. They're all tryhards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so people I'm up against, right? Up against Ben. Am I good at long distance? Probably not. Great. Uh, Lee Callahan. Unknown. Speed unknown. But the drive is there. I'm not fast. I'm out of shape. It's kind of hot out. I have no strategy. No. I think he's going to try harder than he should. I don't want to do this. And, uh... Oh, gosh, Carrie. I don't, I don't know too much about Carrie. I hate running. <laughs> I could just be the fastest, maybe. Would somebody else be trying to run the fastest? They might actually be trying to play the game. I could just say, you know, screw it. I'll just run as fast as I can. <laughs> Banking on that my hubris will knock me down and someone will have beaten me At which point my hubris will have knocked me back up again oh. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll be a winner. All right I'm just gonna go. All right Can you explain the exact nature of your relationship with running? I played softball. We ran from base to <laughs> <laughs> So, definitely don't want any one competitor to run away with it all. Yeah. So I think this provides a good opportunity for a wager. Write the name of who you thought got second place. If you guess correctly, then you will be given one generous bonus point for your efforts. And if you guess incorrectly, you will have merited your own shame. All right, give me all your cards. <laughs> Carrie believes it's going to be Ben. 
Lee believes is going to be Mayo slash Ramon. Toby believes it's going to be big boy Benny Ben, orange man with running legs. <laughs> ben believes it will be Toby, and Mayo believes it will be himself. Mayo. <laughs> this is yeah, say really, that. My signature might be worth something someday. <laughs> I can't help but notice that no one guessed Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well now we have the guesses, more. we have the build-up, let's see the execution. Alright, let's do it, Tim. Oh, I fucking hate running. <laughs> If you can hear me, I hate you for this. Pretty shit, 300 meter time. Freaking knew it. Three, 154, 155. We'll do it even two minutes. That's my time. <laughs> two minutes. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Woo. Fascinating. The problem is, I don't know my opponents. <laughs> Who knows how fast they do this? Hopefully mine. <laughs> I don't know how much to pat it. Mm. Oh. Is he making himself the five points or is he losing yeah. himself the five points? Going for pie. Fourteen. <laughs> Nine. Very good. Three flat. Thank you, Mayo. There you go. Not bad. I'm very curious to see how that will stack up. Mm hmm. There's a lot of cursing in there for you, too. I honestly I have nothing to add here. The points speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. Looks like we also have some bonus points. Uh, we have Toby and Carrie. We'll get one bonus point for correctly guessing Ben. Ben with five, Lee with four, Toby with three, Mayo with two. But that one was over a little too quickly for my liking, Eric. Could you give me a longer one? Here we go. Hello, Lee. What's up? Long time no see. Yeah. Ready for the next one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Take a selfie in as many museums as possible. Send the taskmaster's assistant photos of yourself posing in front of striking art pieces. You can only send one photo per museum. Include a fun caption <laughs> along with the name of the piece and the museum. There are also eight bonus points available for this task. Two bonus points for the selfie taken with the art piece that looks most like the competitor. Two bonus points for the best selfie caption. Two bonus points for the art piece that is the most unwittingly sexual in nature. Two bonus points for the selfie taken with the most aesthetically displeasing art piece. You have three months. Your time starts now. Good luck. 
I gotta get going. <laughs> So, come on. Can you see me? I took a more abstract view of physical appearances for this task. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, take us through some of these submitted selfies? Uh, let the tour begin. Cool. supposed to be captions for these tasks? <laughs> uh, I'm on. Silence is a statement. A picture's worth a thousand words. This picture? So, notice anything odd about that last submission? There was one thing I noticed there, Tim. I wear that shirt all the time. Yeah, at every one of those different unique museums you went to. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't, I'm not saying I deserve a lot of points. How many points do you think you deserve, Amon? Two. <laughs> so you're saying someone did worse. <laughs> That's what you're saying there. I will oh. say, I think I need to hold off a little bit. <laughs> so uh, let's go back to the montage and see how others have done. Alright, cue montage. I was uh, was outside, so I understand if you have to nix that uh, that one. Oh yeah, just yeah. just that one though, right, Toby? Well, there was a few. Here's my other sheet. That one wasn't a selfie. <laughs> That's not a selfie. Oh. Ah. Honestly, Amon, I will say having disproportionately long arms is one of Toby's defining character traits. Yeah. I know Again! Are... That is not a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. I, I will say, in Tony's defense, I don't see either of his feet in that picture. We don't know what's going on. I feel like we just have to keep going. I honestly don't know what's going to happen next. Yes, that's, that's uh, uh, Lovelace, in case y'all are familiar. Huh. Yeah, so uh, I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to branch out of uh, what, what we... Uh, the definition, definition of, of museum. museum. And I actually discovered you can go to virtual museums. Mm -hmm. Oh, And so, like, there's, there's, oh, there's a ton of these online. So you went into the museum. Yes. And you took a selfie. <laughs> I took a selfie. the art piece. And then I paired it with the... The Museo Thyssen Born in Misa. He's a thirsty hunk. <laughs> he hasn't taken a picture mm. with an actual piece of art. I Actually, at least I did do that. The virtual, not doing it for me. Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we really got Lee's input on I mean, all this. I could buy into the virtual museum. Mm. I mean, I just think leniency. You're really advocating for generosity here, Lee. That's interesting. Oh, I can commend the supportive nature of these competitors. <laughs> Let's keep the montage train running. Wait, wait a second. I think, actually, I'm gonna say, I think Leslie and I could just... <laughs> Honestly, though, looking at these pictures, I do have to say, Eric, they seem pretty familiar to me. Did I mention over my summer holiday, Tim? I actually went to quite a few of these museums myself. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I feel the points, they paired out a little self-explanatory. Shockingly, it looks like Lee sprinkled in enough what we would consider actual selfies to uh, catapult Carrie over here. I mean, I would still argue. Um, neither of you actually put in enough photoshopped <laughs> selfies to surpass Ben's actual selfies. Me? I will <laughs> say, so we, we, if we counted all of your Photoshop photos with your real photos, you still would have come in second place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then never mind. I don't need to argue. So I think all of the points, the, the, the principal points, come out as follows. This <laughs> task did have it play a striking eight potential bonus points. So we're going to run through some of the photos that we thought were in highest contention yeah. to really parse out. Our first category are. was the selfie that looks the most like the competitor. I had the full beard. Going. And so that must be a splitting image. <laughs> <laughs> If only we knew which competitor this was. Oh, that's a loophole. The art does The art does not look like him. Oh, yeah, that's a fun one. I see no difference. There's our fifth candidate. I do have to hand it to you. The swan spitting image. It's tough competition, but. Where else are you gonna go and find two torsos? <laughs> okay. I'll have to give a bonus point to Toby for this one. Awesome. Our next category is the most aesthetically displeasing art piece. Oh. Uh, first up, we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. It's childbirth. Oh, oh no. Oh. Next up, we have this one. <laughs> There's just so many layers. I can't get over Very it. Personal. So nuanced. Ooh, yeah. I will yeah. say yeah. I was actively uncomfortable with you. <laughs> so Next up we have this piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one more aesthetically displeasing art piece. So the competition is clearly heated. So for this, I will be dividing the bonus points in two, giving one to Lee for that, <laughs> and giving one to Ben as well, which I'll leave purposely ambiguous. <laughs> All right. Our next category was the most unwittingly sexual in nature art piece. Ooh, it's winning. swinging. It's is what swing, it is. Yes. Mm. No explanation needed. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> also, I think wittingly. Uh, Do you think someone carved that turtle for the hours and hours and hours? <laughs> so this was another one where, again, the contention was hot. To carry for the original O-Face, and Toby couldn't get over the little turd. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's another 1-1 one, one split for Toby and like... Carrie. Uh, our final category is the best selfie caption. Starting off with Lee and her BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have a submission from Lee also. And she explains how flat earthers travel the world. Oh, oh a plane. Hey. <laughs> Nothing beats a good plane related selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is my personal favorite. Yeah! <laughs> no caption. <laughs> so it's essential. Something to just speak for themselves. Uh, our final submission is from Carrie. Anything for Dildo, if you're brave enough. It's got some wild ranges on it. I will say, <laughs> Carrie really came in strong with her caption game, and the audacity of Carrie, I think, deserves her <laughs> taking both points for. Honestly, the sort of morbid creativity that I would have never dreamed of on my own. So, the scores have shaken up ever so slightly. But currently, if the front runner is not totally safe, except for maybe from a mod. But <laughs> Once again, great graphics. Just so well done. Editing team deserves a raise. We're gonna cut that as well. <laughs> well, that was certainly a feast for the eyes. Eric, do you know what I want next? A feast for the stomach? A feast for the ears! Ah! Follow well, the next bit! Hi. Hi, Eric. Hello, Toby. Good to see you again. It's been a while. Been a bit of a rough sleep. That's... Mm, it's alright. All right. Are you ready for this next task? Uh-oh. Yeah, okay.
create a legally distinct cover of the Taskmaster theme song, you will create an original cover of the Taskmaster theme song using any means at your disposal. Submit an audio file of your completed cover to the Taskmaster's assistant. You know, two months, your time starts now. So two months from today, mm -hmm. I'll do what I can, not my whole day, so I'll do what I can. Good luck. So, Toby, <laughs> did you at least implicitly understand that you may have been the only person to have this task? Yeah, I think from the get-go. Um, so I listened to the Taskmaster theme song a few times, and I got the chords down, and then I kind of spun them on their head. Uh, the beginning is some reversed piano sounds that are actually playing the chords, and it sounds kind of cool. Oh. And then the arpeggio is a mix between like some banjo sounds and my synthesizer. Let's get a sense of how well it fits. Ah, <laughs> I gotta say, Toby, we asked you to make a legally distinct theme song, and you certainly made a legally distinct theme song. I think it's truly worth two bonus points, honestly. Oh, wow. I, think he's, I think he's more than earned it. Take what is offered. <laughs> Well, it looks like we only have time for one more task, Eric. And we've had a long task, a short task, a solo task, a romantic task. What are we missing? The most powerful task of all, Tim. A teamwork task. Team task. Fill a pot with tossed water balloons. The team that adds the most water to the pot with this method wins. One teammate will stand at the designated tossing zone and throw water balloons to the catcher. A successfully caught balloon can be added to the pot. A balloon that hits the ground or anything touching the ground is void and cannot be rethrown. The catcher must catch the balloons within the catching zone with their hands, body, or clothing. No outside elements can be brought into the catching zone. The pot cannot be moved. Any balloon that lands directly in the pot will count. You have 15 minutes to fill your balloons. Your time starts now. So who's throwing who's catching? Uh, I'll throw. You made the balloon smaller, well, that's likely the break. The prey off is water versus breakability. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this fantastically, you know, sort of bouncy Sweater vest. You can even take off the sweater vest. I could even take off the sweater vest. I don't know if this is still working. Yeah, we need a hose. Let's start filling. Hey, uh, Eric, where is your spigot? <laughs> ah, Jesus! <laughs> okay, wait. Here's a trash bag. You can fill up the balloons. Like, yeah. Great. Oh, so wait, actually, that's, that's a great. That's a great. So we have to use water balloons. Can I just find more balloons? Where are the spots? I don't know how Eric organized this place. Where would I be if I were a balloon? Got us a second one. You have 11 minutes. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna cradle it. I'll try to cradle it. I don't know. You have four minutes. Do you want to fill a trash bag and just have it up here? I say yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ready? Yep. Exciting. Let's see how a Mon Carey's team did, shall we? Ready? <laughs> yep. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, God! Oh, uh, this is so annoying. <laughs> there you go! Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, put it into the thing. Put it, squeeze it into the into the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
after viewing that. Very surprisingly good hand-eye coordination. Amon with the gentle lobs, Carrie catching with not just her hands but her whole body, and as well with the thriftiness with the water. Not a drop went to waste when opportunity availed itself. That was the most fun one for me, mm -hmm. out of the bunch. So Eric, we saw how the team of two went, but how about the team of three? Let's see how Toe Bentley did. Alright. Kind of awkward. I want to like toss it, but you can. Oh, that works really nice. Okay, so what do I just roll it in there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh my. Who needs me? <laughs> nice. Oh, I oh, got so many squats in there. That stretch. Oh. Stretch. You should have warmed up ahead of time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe a third pole. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Rip. There it goes. Perfect streak. Well, we got perfection off our back. It's gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> Stretch it out a little bit. Uh, a little dance. Watch out, you need a break? You need a break? No, no, no. No, no absolutely not. <laughs> I, I think of these as your babies, Ben. Oh, I appreciate you taking care of my babies. Trying to cradle your babies. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, you never know, because somebody might have, you know, worn a hose or something as part of that costume. <laughs> and then they just, like, go ran up there and then... <laughs> they brought a super soaker somebody. instead of a golf club? <laughs> yeah. Well... I think it's time for the interesting balloons. Oh, we got the big water balloons. Yeah, we got the big water, water balloons. Let's, let's yeah. Yeah, okay. That's gonna. Oh boy. No. That's gonna be real heavy. Am I gonna get the shirt? More like a adolescent balloon that you're catching here. <laughs> yeah. All the baby ones are done, right? It was in. It was yep. in there for an extra three months. All right. <laughs> I'm excited to see this. I hope I can get it to you. Bye. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. A lot of pressure is off this, now. This one's not as big. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Nice. Nicely done. So do we even want to try the garbage bags? I can still toss it to you, see if you catch it for fun. Uh, yeah, All right. I'll, I'll try to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to do the Toby trash bag? Oh, we're doing that's the, the big oh, one. Oh, if we're going to do this for fun, I'm doing the Toby trash bag. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, this might be kind of dangerous. <laughs> this is gonna, yeah. this is gonna be heavy. <laughs> so be on his own. I gotta like get you. Oh, no. Big question. I think it will. Oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I have to get off my chest at the outset. Lee, I wrote something down. You asked early on, who needs me? <laughs> Lee, we need you. You took a lot of pressure off of me. I want that to be clear. Because I just have to catch it enough to put it in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, I didn't want to pop them after catching it. Right Lee, you were there. You were supportive until the Toby trash bag came out and they were gone. <laughs> that was uh, a bad idea. I didn't support that. <laughs> but Toby, the sweater catcher, that is the epitome of innovation. I feel like you've set a new standard of dress, both style and functionality are both brought to the forefront. You know, I, really I have a question. That. Can you reread the task? Can you reread the task? No outside elements can be brought into the catching zone. So I'm curious about the trash bag. If you want to split hairs, man. There I were split. some outside elements that were at play, i.e. the trash bag. However, it didn't do anything. <laughs> In fact, it maybe injured Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I would also, I agree with that. I also think it was in the spirit of the task. Ben? Yes? Do you think people typically throw babies? <laughs> no. These were babies for all intents and purposes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I just I won't hand you my children. Okay, so I couldn't help but notice watching the tape that Amon and Carrie didn't seem to have any big balloons, whereas Lee, Ben and Toby's team had two. Is there an explanation for that? It seems like that would be a really unfair advantage. <laughs> Find more balloons. Where would I be if I were a balloon? You have 11 minutes. Alright, let's see this. You have 11 minutes. Got us the second one. <laughs> so, come oh, on. Wow, we're really fucked so, up. Your biggest. <laughs> I'm like actually a little upset with myself now. Based off the text of the task, the pure scoring, I think it's fair to say that Amon and Carrie's team gets two points, Ben, Lee, Toby's team gets three points for that team task. However, Carrie and Amon, you sunk that shot. Amon called it. This one's going straight in. He got it. Damn! And then another time he called it. I'm going for the pot again. And then Carrie oh. got it. <laughs> oh, so I think you all handily earned yourself a bonus point each for and that. And then how are we going to take off for Mayo for uh, assaulting your lovely assistant? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to give you two bonus points. <laughs> a remarkable toss. Remarkable toss. But we're and friends. to be fair, the water did end up in the bucket. It's true, and then Carrie's thriftiness. Also, give Carrie another bonus. <laughs> okay, with that being done, we've allocated points, bonus points. Where does that leave us now, Eric? It leaves us with one final task, Tim. A task that will determine once and for all the Taskmaster 2022 champion. As your assistant, I'd be honored to read out this final task. And now, it is time for all of you to become Taskmaster's assistants. You see, guests will soon be arriving to attend a Taskmaster-themed party, and each of you will be randomly assigned five guests, who each will be given their own 
secret task. Over the course of two hours, motivate your guests through as many tasks as possible. Each time a task is completed by one of the guests and approved by the taskmaster, it will be added to your count. We have a jar for all of you. We ran out of a nice one, so... <laughs> <laughs> The person like whose guests complete the most tasks will win the five points. Good luck. What'd you get? All right, Team Lee. Marissa, this will be your task, and Toby will be guiding you through it. This task is for Aiden, who will be on your squad. Sounds great. Before you open each new can drink tonight, you must update it at the top of an increasingly long ass half of cans. All right, you just guess on will tamp it out the whole wisdom. Or is this some sort of task that needs to be accomplished? Oh my god. <laughs> to create a trophy to be presented to the champion of Taskmaster 2022. The center of the Sharpies is wafting its way over here. We have Alina, who's been assigned to Team Lee. Matine! Oh, I thought this was the winner's trophy, but it's actually the loser? Exactly. Three foot, eight cups tall pyramid. Out of solo cups using only your two feet. We want our Ben to win. We want our Ben to win. We'll kick Eric in the shin. We'll kick Eric in the shin. So, you just gotta remember why we're all here, which is Eric's sick kinks of my feet. Convince 15 people to wear this puzzle. Taco dance! You will be given a poster of a duck. Sadly, this duck has passed away. This duck is a duck for the duck, the duck that has died. Find a potato and then trick someone else into a knowingly taste. All right, Eric, I guess I'll go home. <laughs> That's a new dance to the Taskmaster game song. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I hit it to perfection, but it turns out that Sam was also pulling the switcheroo. Tell them the camera was around. Just completed collectively the final task of Taskmaster 2022. It doesn't actually change the scores at all. <laughs> it may be a foregone conclusion, but that in no way, shape, or form dampens the shock, the awe, the victory, the glory of Ben Raymond. <laughs> Do you know what I want next, Eric? A feast for your stomach? We're definitely doing that again. <laughs> We're definitely doing that again. <laughs> 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 I'm <dead. laughs> That was repulsive. <laughs>